Hey guys, Wayne here from Tech Made Easy. Today I'm going to go over some tips and tricks on the Samsung Galaxy Soul 3. Let's jump right in. Here's the first tip, and this is with any smartphone that you get, specifically with this one um, as well. Um, when you first get it out of the box, you might notice that the screen goes dim really quick. And it's very frustrating. Like if you don't touch the screen, you'll notice it's going to go dim on you after about 15 or 30 seconds. Well, if we go into the settings, we can tweak that so that the screen doesn't go dim so fast because it can be a little frustrating. I was waiting to see if it was going to do it here. Um, there it is. See, about 30 seconds, it goes dim. So what you're going to do, swipe down. In the upper right corner, there is a settings button right here. And in the settings, you're going to go to display. And then we're going to go to screen timeout, tap here. Let's change it to two minutes. Now the screen is not going to go dim so fast. You have a little bit more time and you won't have to touch the screen so often. So that's the first thing. Our second thing here is if we swipe down from the top and we pull down again, we have what are called our notification switches. And one really important switch that you should be using is the power saving switch by tapping on here. You can turn on the medium power saving mode, hit apply. And what this does is um, it'll basically turn off some of the background operations of your phone so that your battery will last longer. Uh, especially if you know you're going to be out all day, you're not going to have access to a charger or you make that fatal mistake and you wake up and realize your phone hasn't been charging and you start your day on 50 or 60%. This way, if you turn on that power saving mode, um, your phone will automatically last you a lot longer. So just a little tip um, to make sure your battery is going to stretch and last you a lot longer. All right. Our next tip is going to be back in the settings again. So swipe down upper right corner, hit on the settings wheel. And this is called device maintenance. Go ahead and tap on device maintenance. And this is um, something that's going to help make sure your phone is running fast and make sure that you have as much storage available as possible. Every time you go on a website or download a page, all these things are downloading things to the phone. And if you don't clear it out, then you'll lose precious space that could be used for your pictures or your music or videos or whatever. So I encourage you at least once a week, or if you notice your phone running slower, go to the device maintenance section in the settings and uh, it'll show you how well your phone is running. So right now I'm good. I'm at 77 out of 100. All I'm going to do is hit the optimize now button. And what it's going to do is it's going to look for any apps that are draining my battery that are maybe running that I don't know are running. It'll close those out. It'll free up storage on the phone. So if I have anything that's downloaded that does need to be there, it'll erase it and it just closes out and it just keeps track of anything else that might be causing the phone to not work at its best performance. So, I definitely encourage you to uh, use the device maintenance. It's so easy and it does all the work for you. And look at that. Now I have 7.3 gigs free of space to use my phone. So that's awesome. It also clears your RAM as well. And that's a big thing. Let's go back home. Our next thing is going to be um, back in the notification section at the top. We take our finger, pull down one more time. We have all these cool little switches and they're just shortcuts of different things you can do on the phone. Now, what I like to do is I like to organize these in the order that I would use them. Let me tell you why. So if you notice when I swipe down the first time, it only shows me six switches and then I have to swipe down again to see the rest. I like to put the most important ones at the very top here because it just makes your life easier. You can grab your phone, turn it on, swipe down and you automatically know what's right there. So here's what I like to do. So swipe down in the right corner, click on the three dots right next to the wheel. And we're going to go to button order. And what I'm going to do is I want to move my flashlight so that it's higher. So I'm going to hold down my flashlight and drag it all the way to the top because I use the flashlight a lot. I'm also going to drag the power saving button at the very top as well. I'm going to drag my mute because this is, this is how I, put the phone on vibrate or silent. I always want that to, you know, be at the top. So I have uh, easy access to it. And I want to have my uh, hotspot up there as well, because I use that a lot and Wi-Fi calling. I don't care about that as much. 
all I'm doing is putting my finger on the switch and holding down for a second and then I'm just dragging it down. And when you're done, hit done and watch this. Now when I swipe down, all the important stuff is close. I can, I can turn my flashlight on just by tapping that button just like that. Who doesn't need a flashlight right at their fingertips? Same thing, hotspot, Bluetooth. So put it in whatever order makes sense for you, but just make sure all your important stuff is there so you can get to it as fast as possible. We have one more and we're gonna close out the video here. And this is uh, for you old school people who have been on Android for a long time. You might notice to get to the app section, you have to swipe up on the home screen. Some people don't like that. They like it the traditional way where they just had a little uh, app button at the bottom of the screen. I'm gonna show you how to get that back today. That's right. Hold down on the home screen anywhere and in the bottom right, click on home screen settings and we're gonna to go to apps button and I'm gonna just tap on show apps button and hit apply and go back home. Now, my apps button is right here so I can get to my apps that way. You can still swipe as well, but you also have the button. This is definitely good for older people who are just used to it a different way. Um, that's the easiest way to get that button back. And if you get it back and decide you don't want it, you can always follow the same steps and just hide it again. So this has been the tips and tricks on the Samsung Galaxy Soul 3. Uh, stay tuned, we do have a hidden feature version of this video coming out as well. We're gonna show you more really cool hidden features you can do on the phone. So I hope you guys found this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Hit that subscribe button. Also subscribe to our other channel as well, H2 Tech Videos. And stay tuned for more. Do me a favor, leave a comment on any one of the tips that you did not know that you learned for the first time watching our video. We really appreciate that. Again, take care and have a good one.